Okay, so uh, now I want to show you how to add multiple fill or stroke symbols to a feature. So I'm going to draw a line first. So I'm just going to draw a simple line across this page here. And as you can see, it took on whatever the last symbol I used was. So we have this kind of like blue-gray color and a dash pattern. So again, if I want to change that, we just go to stroke here and pick a different color. So let's use this color palette. I'm going to make it like this. Uh, make it this color. Well, I guess that's what it was already. We'll make it this orange color. Um, and then if, say we get rid of our stroke or our um, uh, dash pattern. So just click off dash here. And then we just have a, a solid line there. So let's say I wanted to add another stroke symbol to that. So to do that, you could one option is you could make multiple versions and stack them up and change the symbology. But a better way to do that is with um, the appearance window. So I'm going to open up this appearance window. And we get this new window here. And as you can see, this object that's uh, selected has a stroke applied and there's a fill there, but it's hollow, right? So you can actually add, depending on the feature, multiple strokes or fills. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to click on this button, which adds another stroke. And by default, it added it underneath here. And you could also add a fill, which we're not going to do in this case. So it has the same symbol, so we really haven't changed anything. So we're going to take this bottom one, and we'll apply a different collar. So I'm going to make it um, this like gray collar. And I'm going to increase the thickness a little bit. So we'll make it, just so we can see it, we'll make it 16. Okay, so now we have this line object has two strokes applied. One is this orange collar, and the other one is more this like dark gray collar. And then you can also change the appearance of those strokes one by one. So if we want to take this inner one, and we can make it dashed. Not update. Oh, I guess it wasn't clicked on it. Click on it there. Do stroke dashed. So there we have this dash pattern. So you see how that could be useful for doing something like designing symbols for like roads or railroads or some other you know map or cartographic feature. Um, and then those should be able to be applied to other objects. So again, if I make one, it just takes on the one symbol. Let's see if it'll, if we can do this, if it'll, I guess not. It only takes one, so I guess we'd have to do that manually. But anyway, you can, um, again, use multiple symbols there. Let's just look at a couple other examples of this. So I'm going to create, let's do a uh, square. There we go. And again, we'll just mess, we'll change the, the stroke here. So I'm going to you know, this is it changed the this change because now we're clicked on a different object. So I'm going to take this symbol first and let's we'll just uh, change the collar. So let's make it this like blue collar, and then let's add another stroke there, and we will change the collar. So let's make it like this red collar and change the width a little bit bigger and then we'll change oops change the uh get rid of the dash pattern and we'll turn this down a little okay so there we have an outline that has both a um small dashed fill or stroke and then this wider non-dash stroke around it. And then we go and change the fill, something else. So again, we'll go down to the same collar palette we were using, and we'll just fill it with this like tan collar. Which didn't seem to take. Was I not selected? And tan collar, there we go. So two strokes, one fill for that object. Now, um, one thing you can change is like kind of the alignment. So you can see all these uh, strokes are aligned to like the center of the path. So we can actually change that. So if we click on one, we'll click on this one, you can go in here and change the alignment. So there it's aligned interior, 
exterior, and then the default there is the middle. So anyway, you can change the alignment. Like maybe that looks a little bit better. Um, okay, and then lastly, you can also do these types of operations with with a character or, or a text. So let's type in some text here. We'll do, uh, let's see, digital cartography. Okay, and then let's go into our properties for that, which should be somewhere. Well, maybe I have that closed. Let me go to window. Oh, never mind. It's over here. <laughs> so let's change the font. We'll just use a different font. Let's bump up the font size. Make it really big. Spread it out a bit. Okay, so there we have some te some text. And again, we could add some symbols to this. So right now, it just has character. So let's add a... Uh, let's add a fill and we'll make it a different color so let's make it uh, we'll use this red collar here and then well actually sorry we're gonna have to do this with stroke let me get rid of this so um, we can hit delete here to get rid of it so we're gonna have a stroke instead and then we're gonna go down here again grab our other collar and then maybe bump it up a little. There we go. So now we've kind of got this like outline. So the text has an outline around it. And we could even do something else like just add another stroke here. We'll change the collar back to this and make it a little bit bigger like four. And then we'll pull this down. Oops to where it's below this stroke. And maybe we need to make it slightly bigger. Six. So we kind of got three layers of, of stroke there. So anyway, that can be useful again for making unique symbols and, and just again, a lot of different cartographic design options. It's better than just stacking a layer and using different symbols.